We noticed overnight out in San Diego the wonderful Padres, their superstar Tatis, and also Will Myers out with COVID. They have three other uh, players in contract tracing. They have five of their on-field players out of commission. How do you have an athletic team with five people out in the song and dance that we're going to fill the baseball park, in this case, Petco Field? Yeah, I think that um, what that shows is that COVID is still among us and we still have to be very, very careful. <clears throat> we're seeing that that even though we're seeing these drops in cases across the country, there are pockets, especially where people are less have less uh, vaccination rates. And, and in those areas, people are still highly right. susceptible. Okay, this is really, really important, folks. I'm going to stop the show because John Farrell's <clears throat> been way out front on this. Lauren, if I'm walking down the street... Should I have a mask on as a courtesy to others and also because I need it because of COVID or are we really where we can go mask free? We are confused. Yeah, the CDC is saying that outside you can be mask free. Um, you know, it's up to your personal level of comfort, but it's safe to be mask free outside. And so where you want to see people wearing those masks is when um, you're close to other people, where you're indoors, particularly in places where um, the back, the ventilation is not great. Um, or if you are outdoors in places where you're really in close quarters with people. So um, if you're sitting really close to people, if you're in an area that's partially sheltered, um, if you're in one of those little um, tents that people have set up in places that don't have good airflow. So so the, the outside mask-free is all about the airflow. But Tom, something you just said was important, and that's why people are confused. Is it social <coughs> etiquette or is it science? Yeah. Which one is it? Well said. Because the science, according yeah. to Lauren Sauer, is that you don't have to wear one outdoor. And we keep sort of blurring the lines between ethics, science, and social etiquette, Lauren. I, I don't think that's helpful. What's your view? Yeah, I, I totally understand that. I mean, I think it's a mix of all three, like you said. Um, I think the science is evolving. And so that's what's really hard to message right now, right? So we're learning more about masking. We have not been a culture that masks. Um, uh, there's a lot of great scientists who are working on this right now. Where is where is sort of that line that everyone's looking for? But it is blurry, right? So um, it's it, it is an area where you want to see if you're in close quarters, you wear masks because A, we do believe it keeps you safer. Um, and B, it may keep someone else safer if you happen to be exposed or have the virus um, and you're going to be close to them. Outside, I think it is safe. I think we've all sort of agreed that it is safe if you're spaced out to not wear masks. And that's what the science says so far. We talked about this recently, and I'd love your view on it, because a lot of people wrote in when we started asking the question. <laughs> the goalposts seem to have moved from protecting the most vulnerable in society to now achieving some kind of herd immunity and getting 70% of the country with at least one, one dose of the vaccine. Lauren, why have the goalposts moved over the last 12 months? I think the biggest piece is because we have vaccine available. Um, and so we have we have targeted our most vulnerable people in the community to get vaccine first as we were scaling up, ramping up production. Um, production is higher now and we continue to improve production so that we can not only target more broadly across our um, whole country, but also support global efforts to improve vaccination. But but. I think it's less that the goalposts have moved and more that the um, the goal's gotten bigger. Uh, and so it's always nice when the goal is bigger because it means you've you've had successes to, to get to that point. Um, but we're still targeting our most vulnerable communities and especially those who have not been able to access yeah. vaccine yet. And there's a lot of work in that space being done. But the goal has definitely gotten bigger, more vaccine in more arms, more broadly across the country yeah. and across the world. Well, very quickly, then, let's circle around to the Padres again. Tonight, Coors Field, Denver, Padres, Rockies, 5,000 people, whatever, in the stands. Would you wear a mask? I think if it, d it would depend on how crowded the concessions and, and you know, the beer line the is. But, the beer line. Um, I would never yeah, be in I a think beer line. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, prob I probably would wear a mask in the concession area, um, yeah. any place where I felt that it wasn't comfortable, in the restrooms. Um, but again, you know, if you're outside and you're feeling safe, that, that is a space where uh, as long as you're socially distanced and you feel like you can right. keep that space between people, it's one thing. If you feel like you can't, I would put that yeah. mask on. 